All right, everybody. Beautiful morning today. Hopefully we're gonna get some rain, but sitting by the lake. I wanted to answer a couple questions, and this is about silver. I'm gonna talk to you about what the most valuable silver you can buy is, and how you could actually make money right now if you wanted to. Um, not a ton of money, but you can make some money. So, but first I wanna answer a subscriber's question, that's how you sell silver. And I have a lot of experience in purchasing, buying and selling uh, large quantities of metals. And so, uh, but on the individual uh, investor side, right? Not like, I'm not like buying for institutions. So obviously this isn't, yeah, it's advice. This is advice. <laughs> so, so I have done this. Um, sorry, it's getting bright. Um, first off, you want to get to know your local coin dealers. It's very important. Sorry, the ninja needs some coffee. Um, you want to get to know your, your uh, dealers and the reason why, and you want to get to know them all. Um, be friendly, chat them up, talk to them about uh, the market, what they sell, um, what they like to sell, what are easy sellers for them. Um, and then just be, be very cognizant of what you notice around the store, the, the traffic uh, patterns. It sounds interesting, but or maybe it sounds funny to you, but in 1980, when silver exploded in price and hit its all-time high of $50, or right below it, uh, our local store, one of our local stores, we have six in the area, and some sell more than others. Some are pawn shops that sell you know, precious metals, and, and some are devoted to selling precious metals. Oh, cool, I can take that off now. It's getting a little lighter. Um, what uh, they had happen in 1980 was the, literally lines around the block, and the new, local newspaper actually took photos of it and did stories on it about the silver mania that was happening. Well, it was a mania because it was not only going up in price, but inflation was, we were you know, coming out of a very heavy, heavy inflation in the late 70s. Uh, the fuel crisis was still in everybody's mind, and uh, they were very serious. They wanted to get their metal, right? And just like what you see with cryptocurrencies now, people are FOMOing into these things. So you see it now with the internet, um, when silver spikes in price, you see inventories go to nothing. Well, with your local dealers, um, now we're, we're facing down a crisis that's much larger than the late 70s. Uh, we're going to be moving into a Great Depression. I, I believe we're actually in the Great Depression right now. You just haven't seen it because there's a moment where the government stimulus works and then it there's a day that it just doesn't. And so I believe we're already in that depression. So you need to be very cognizant of, of the traffic patterns, the type of people that these um, that frequent these stores. Um, usually the people that frequent gold and silver stores are great, but you do have that you know, few percent of people that are actually bringing in things that were stolen. So that's something you wanna be aware of uh, because you just wanna be safe. You also wanna uh, be aware of the neighborhoods these stores are in, the security that they have, things like that. When you go to sell your silver, just so you know, right now in times where it's in low demand, these silver stores are going to hit you for quite a, a discount. They're not usually they're not going to pay you spot. What I do is because I know all of my local dealers, I just let them know if there's ever a day that I come in and sell, this, this is the price that I want. And um, you don't even have to do that right now, but in the future, you could just easily come in there and say, "Hey, how's your silver supply?" And usually, when it's it's down to nothing. And they're like, we're out. And I said, well, I've got some to sell, but I want this price for it. And they can either laugh at you or they can go out of business because if a silver and gold store doesn't have anything to sell, they don't make money. Okay. So what I've seen in the past where I've walked in um, and it actually happened this last spring when silver started to shoot up in, well, actually late spring, early summer in June, I just went in and I said, look, I'll, I'm willing to take 10% over spot. So if you got anybody and they immediately got on the phone and they started calling people and said, Hey, I got a guy right here. And, and they said, and they added their VIG. So they added 10%. So they go 20% over spot and, uh, people picked it up. They said, yep, I'll be right in. So that's the way I would sell silver. There is a lot of online dealers that turn around and, and, and buy your silver. And what's really cool is you could really uh, see your demand, what it's really doing in the market. Is if you go to Atmex or SD Bullion and they'll give you their buy price. And when demand is high, the buy price is over spot. So if you trust sending your stuff in to an online dealer, I don't know if I necessarily would uh, unless I live near one, but I do know people that have done it and it's worked out great for them.
they get a check in the mail uh, or a, a direct deposit. So it's worked out good. Now, let's talk about the most invaluable silver you can own. This is my opinion, but it actually, I believe, works because human beings are really funny. Uh, when when there is emotion involved and, and FOMO is happening, they, uh, they go nuts. The best silver you can buy is the cheapest silver and the most rare silver, and that is the 90% junk silver. And I love that they call it junk because I like to invest in things that people don't like. Um, and then I like to sell it to them when they're freaking out. Um, is a dime. You want the smallest denomination for a few reasons. First off, it's hard to counterfeit. Um, if you have any other metal, if you put a silver dime up next to a regular dime, you see the copper showing through. Um, I mean, it actually there's multiple metals in it, um, but you, you'll see that shining through right on the edge. So it's very hard to fake, right? You need a certain amount of silver in there to be able to keep that edge because it gets rubbed. Um, you need to keep it silver. So it's very hard to uh, fake. It's also, it's very inexpensive piece of silver. So it's the least likely for a counterfeiter to want to uh, actually counterfeit. The other thing I notice is every time, and you've probably noticed this too, when the market uh, starts to go shooting up and inventory collapses, the first piece of silver that collapses is junk silver. And the first one out of the junk silver to, um, to go uh, get ripped off of shelves is the dimes. Another thing about it is it's becoming more and more rare because of the fact that they're just getting lost. They stopped making them after 1964. So they're just getting lost. You know, uh, people are finding them in parks, you know, when they're doing metal detecting, but other than that, they're just, they're gone forever once they're lost. Now, uh, let's just talk some numbers. Why I think it's very valuable. Today, silver's sitting at $25. It's down like 46 cents. And the melt value of a silver dime is $1.84 right now. Right now, if you go onto SD Bullion and you buy $10 worth of silver, it will cost you $1.99 per dime. All right? So only a few cents over uh, spot. What is it? Uh, 16 cents over spot. Over melt. If you took that silver dime and you walked into anywhere your your job and said hey i got a couple silver dimes i'm willing right now and i mind you, you just paid two bucks so i'm willing to sell them for five bucks for two of them someone's gonna buy those two silver dimes and they're not gonna go look up or even if they do they're not gonna care that you paid two bucks for them as a matter of fact they're probably not even gonna be able to find them for two bucks because sd bullion and a couple other lawn line dealers have such a smoking deal right now so you could actually turn around and start flipping money right now if you wanted to um but when the FOMO happens, and now let's say we have a 10X on silver. So silver shoots, moon shoots to $250. And yes, I do believe there's a day that's gonna happen. I believe you're gonna see a day where silver is worth as much as an ounce of gold. And if uh, before you start typing away on those uh, comments, you should figure out, look at the story of rhodium and then look at what silver is actually used for. And you'll, you'll figure it out pretty quick. Um, but let's say it moon shoots, it goes 10X. So you got a silver price of $250, which means that dime, if if those numbers were the same, um, uh, the melt value is, well, the melt value is going to be the same. It's going to be 10 times that. So it's going to be $18.84, which means spot would be around, say, $25. All right, that's how much these places are going to want to buy them, unless we have a total collapse and, and, and you can't find silver anywhere. So if all, you know, if the market stays the same, the, the liquidity in the market stays the same as far as inventory, then that's what we're going to have, right? $25 silver, or $25 um, dime. Now a one ounce piece at minimum is going to be like 275 bucks to buy. You walk into that same store or your work and you go, hey, I got a silver dime. I'm willing to sell it for 40 or 50 bucks. I don't think you're going to have a problem selling it. Because just like, unlike Bitcoin, where you can buy a fraction of one, you can't do that with silver. Yeah, they're going to have those one gram bars and stuff. That's, I think that they still don't have really a place in the market. Because look at, I mean, well, <laughs> look what people actually pay. And you know they're actually paying it because they have them for sale. But a one gram gold bar 
the price that you're paying over spot is astronomical. It is stupid. But yeah, people do buy them. So that sh proves even more that that silver dime, you're going to be able to sell it for such a greater percentage over spot than any other piece of silver out there. And the reason why is for the sheer reason that not everybody has that much money. 100% of the people have 50 bucks that they could spend if they wanted to. Only 1% of the population has got literally, it sounds crazy, but like $10,000 spent on silver. That's, that's just the truth. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Uh, I hope you guys go out and buy up all the dimes because it's just going to make it more valuable when nobody can find them. But um, that's, that's my advice to you guys. I think you could actually make some money right now doing it. And uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a ton of money, but hey, it beats sitting on the couch watching TV or playing video games, right? Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for all the questions. Keep them coming. You're inspiring me to make more videos. I'll see you later.